Hey, what's going on guys? My name is FPS Deny and today I'm going to show you how to get more FPS. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to shut the fuck up and basically show you and not talk about all bullshit most people do. So let's get right into it. It's super simple. Don't overcomplicate things and disable a lot of shit that you don't need to. Most importantly, if you have an NVIDIA control panel, uh, such as me, this is all the GTX, RTX, the, the NVIDIA graphics card. Go to your control panel. Go to adjust image settings and preview. Make sure it says to use the advanced 3D settings. Go to manage 3D settings, scroll all the way down and basically copy what I have here. There might be some options that you might not have. That's because I have a different graphics card from you and a different driver like this. And then I'm just going to slowly scroll up. You can always pause. Just make sure the most important things in here is your quality to high performance, your refresh rate to highest available, and then power management to prefer uh, maximum performance. These are the biggest things that you kind of want to do. Make sure your vertical sync is disabled. Make sure your triple buffering is off and make sure the virtual uh, reality pre-render frames are one. If you have G-Sync for Valorant, please disable it. You do not need it. Now here's a really, really important one, okay? If you play stretched, that means that you play on like 1280 by 1080 or 1440 by 1080, whatever it is in Valorant. Um, you need to use full screen or you're going to have weird display issues. Uh, I use native 1920 by 1080. What you want to do is you want to select no scaling. When you do full screen, usually it does, uh, it uses your GPU and it will cause you to have more render issues such as latency uh, add-ons because of the GPU. Just do no scaling and then make sure make sure the scaling is set on display and not GPU. GPU you're going to have more input delay. Okay, override the scaling and then click apply. Pretty self-explanatory. Configure sound and physics. Just select your graphics card. Okay, now that we did the NVIDIA control panel, right click your Valorant, go to open file location. At the top, go to your Riot Games, go to Valorant, go to live, right click your Valorant.exe properties, compatibility, disable full screen optimizations, enable that, go to change DPI settings and override the high DPI scaling behavior by application. Click OK, click OK. Now here's a very, very important thing. That's for your launcher, I believe. What you want to do is you want to go to shooter game, binaries, win64, scroll all the way down and find the windows 64 shipping.exe. Do the same exact thing. Go to properties, compatibility, disable full screen optimizations, change high DPI settings, select the override high DPI scaling behavior and click OK. Basically, most of the stuff that we just did, we want to make sure that your Valorant is running full screen and it's not running in um, not full screen because you're going to have more delay if you don't, such as running in windowed full screen. All right, guys. So I'm going to put this in the description. I'll upload this in my Google Drive in this little Valfix folder. Uh, there's going to be two things in there. First is the MSI mode, and the second one is the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. First, open up the MSI mode.exe. Just run it as administrator. Okay. A bunch of shit opens up. Honestly, what you want to do is you want to find your graphics card, and you want to enable it with the MSI mode. Please, please, please hear me out. If you fucking uh, use the MSI on wrong things, you might break your entire computer. So do things that truly matter, and do things that... Like, don't touch things that you shouldn't touch. For example, with your graphics card, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, enable it. You see MSI? Just check it. I mean, like, it's a little bigger, but you get the point. See RTX 3080? Check it. Make this on high. Click apply. Same thing with my internet connection. You see it's high, which is my gigabyte network connection. This is my Ethernet. Hi. Now, this is my Wi-Fi. I don't use my Wi-Fi because it's fucking dumb. If you want to play professionally, if you want to be really good, use Ethernet. Don't use Wi-Fi. Plug that bitch into the router. Um, so I don't touch that. It's already preset. Okay? Shit like that. Click apply and then get out of it. Okay. So far, this is my favorite thing for Valorant and actually for any majority of the games that I play. It's called a, a standby list cleaner. Uh, it's already running, as you can see. Just double-click it. You're probably not going to have these in there, but I'm just going to upload it so you might do. But when you open it, it's going to be a little different. So basically, when you open this, it's going to bring you to this screen. What you want to do is, here, 
you're going to clear your RAM. So like your computer basically stores the cache and uh, this cleans it. So what you want to do is you want if you have 16 gigabytes like I do of DDR4 RAM, I'm going to do from 1 gig to 8 gigs. If you have 32 gigs, you do the half of 16, etc. So th I have 16, right? So in the bottom, just do half of 16 gigs and then 1024. So it's basically going to do is it's going to clear every time your Windows caches and has more than one megabyte to eight megabytes. Enable custom uh, resolution for the polling rate. This is really interesting. If you have a really good CPU, try to use 500. If you have a decent CPU, just use 1000. And then if you want to click start. Now the thing is, it's going to show you that these for you might not match and that's because the timers are a little different. I'm going to give you guys a command where you have to do it through CMD and then it should line it up. Okay. So if it's so 0 0.4999, something like that, don't panic. Okay. If you go to my description on, on this video, you're going to see a text message. And what you want to do is you want to put that in your CMD. So open up your Windows search bar, type in CMD, right click it, click run as administrator. And make sure this is an administrator. If it doesn't say administrator on the top left, right click that shit in your Windows search bar and run it as admin. Okay. Then just copy it and click enter. Now, the reason why it says element not found is because it's already deleted on my end. It's already disabled. Uh, if it says the same thing for you, it does not matter. Just restart your computer and 99% of the time it's going to show 0 0.5 to 0 0.5. This basically just aligns your timers and you just, it feels really smooth. For me, I've been using this for years and honestly, just it feels really smooth. You're not going to get banned or none of that bullshit. Okay, next up is the process lasso. What you want to do is I'm going to put the link in the description. I want you to download this, okay? I want you to open up your Valorant. All right, guys, so I have my Valorant open on the bottom. What you want to do is after opening up your process lasso, scroll down until you find Valorant 64 shipping. Don't touch the Valorant.exe. So it's win64.shipping. Right click it, go to CPU priority, do always and do high. This is just going to put your Valorant uh, ex executable file into the highest priority when it comes to your CPU. Then right click affinity, go to always and then remove zero. This is a really interesting thing because basically your processor has cores and has threads and etc. And usually a lot of processes run on your CPU zero, which is your CPU one. Just disable that and most likely it's just going to run on your other cores and other threads. Now I really recommend just minimizing this and just letting it run. It doesn't really use any CPU power, any memory power, etc. It's very, very minimal. Next up, what you want to do is you want to go to your task manager, go to startup. And basically you want to disable shit that you don't need. For example, right now I have Creative Cloud. I don't need that. This won't like delete your programs. This is just not going to enable them to start up when you start Windows. So it just loads quicker and just doesn't run in the background. So for example, Steam, I don't need this to run in the background when I first start it up because if I want to play a Steam game, I can just run Steam itself. These are for editing software. For me, I can disable these because I don't need them on startup. Don't disable Vanguard notification. Just let that be because you know how fucking Valorant is. Like you touch one thing and then God knows it, it stops working. All right, guys. So next up, just go to your settings. Use Valorant. Go to general. Only thing that you really want to disable here for maximum FPS is you can disable corpses. It's up to you. It can kind of hinder you sometimes, but realistically, it's good to disable them. Um, disable these two. I'm going to just leave it on because I have really good specs. Show bullet tracers. This will increase your FPS, but realistically, if somebody's shooting a vandal through smoke, you can see where they're shooting from. So leave that on. This can be a very uh, big disadvantage. But if you really need that FPS and you have a really low end system, just turn it off. Okay, so now for the most important things, guys. What you want to do is you want to set everything to off. Don't cap anything. Make sure you're running on your native res or whatever you'd like. Make sure this is full screen. And that window, full screen, that window, full screen. Okay, scroll down. And the reason why my NVIDIA reflex is low is because I have it set pre in my NVIDIA control panel. If you copied my settings, you would, you would see. Graphic quality, guys, super simple. Enable multi-core rendering, disable everything else. Keep everything to one. Stats, just show your FPS. You don't need any of this bullshit in here. This actually adds more latency to your fucking game. Audio, self-explanatory. I use HRTF, but if you do have weird issues and stuttering, try to turn it off. It could fix it for you. All right, guys, so this is the last step for this quick little tutorial. 
um, there's a program called Par Control by Bitsoon. I'm going to put the link in the description, download it. This is literally the most important step out of everything because your Valorant is run by your CPU, not your GPU. It uses very low of your GPU, very low usage. It's your CPU that matters. When you open this up, what you want to do is you want to disable anything that is parred and set everything to 100. Click, a, click apply and then it says Bitsum High Performance Profile is installed. It might say uninstall from you. You want to click install and it will install it for you. Okay. Dynamic boost. I wouldn't really fuck with this to be honest with you. Just leave that unchecked and just make sure that this is just active. Okay. It should say 32. Well, it shouldn't say 32 cores. Um, that's just my CPU. So just make sure that you have this right here under your hardware and then power options. Make sure that it's Bitsum highest performance is the one that's enabled. This will change your performance in Valorant significantly, significantly. Okay. Now if we just take a look back, just make sure they're all in park, make sure everything is at a hundred percent, make sure that all of your cores are unparked. You should be vibing. Big shout out and big, big, big thank you to a guy named Freddy or AKA Chris on YouTube and Twitch. He does this for a living and he does this in very, very extensive ways. When I say this is computer optimizations, he does a lot of in-depth tutorials. So just check his channel out. I got most of the stuff from him and I learned from him. So big shout out to him. I also do computer optimizations. If you guys want to have a complete different partition made just for your gaming, that's going to take a really long time and you can fuck things up. If you are willing to spend the money for it and if you're willing to hire me to do it for you, literally just go to my Twitter and just DM me. And, you know, I do it for really cheap. I'm not going to charge your arm or leg. I will screen share, set everything up for you if, if it's something that you're interested in. So you don't have to. This is just a quick tutorial and it will help 99% of you. But if you want to really take it to the next level and you want to have that crisp, no latency, beautiful, everything disabled, very, very crisp running machine, hit my DMs and let's make it happen. Anyway, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And your boy is out.